To talk more about the Pennsylvania special election and its impact, we're joined by Representative Keith Rothfuss, a Republican from Pennsylvania. He currently represents the 12th district. Welcome to the program. Hey, good to be with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Too close to call as of this taping right now. And we are wondering what went wrong for the Republicans. Well, this is a very competitive area. Uh, uh, a lot of money came in from outside. You saw the Democrat was able to raise money in California, New York, Massachusetts, from across the country. Uh, this happens in special elections where the focus can be on a single race. Uh, you had a Democrat who ran as far as he could from the Democratic Party, disavowing himself from Nancy Pelosi, trying to sound moderate on various issues, having an ad with himself shooting a gun. Uh, one issue that really didn't get fully developed was the issue of pro-life. Let's talk about that, because he says he's a Catholic, Connor Lamb, but he is not pro-life, according to what he says publicly. Yeah, you know, I'm from Pennsylvania. Governor Casey set the standard on what a pro-life Democrat is. Mm -hmm. And I heard Ed Rendell uh, being interviewed recently talking about Connor Lamb being a pro-life Democrat. With all respect, uh, uh, calling this individual a pro-life Democrat who would support late-term abortion really mocks the memory of Governor Casey and all he stood for and the courageous stand he took against his own party in defending life. Mm -hmm. And so we got to continue to talk about the need to protect human life at all stages. At all stages. This could have a, a big impact on midterm elections. People are always saying it's a harbinger of what's to come. Could we see more Democrats running this moderate game in order to get back the House seats, in order to take control? Well, certainly they can try. And I think the American people have to take a close look at what they're saying and then make a decision. Do they want the Democrats to run the House of Representatives to put very far left leaning people chairing committees, for example, and stopping the tremendous progress that we've been making to date? Uh, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is bringing this economy back to life. People are having more money in their pockets. Finally, we have American businesses that are, not, that are being taxed less than Chinese businesses, being taxed less than Mexican businesses. You know, not a single Democrat voted for that bill, but this tax cut bill put American companies and American workers in a far better competitive position in the global marketplace, and we're seeing the results. And so we're going to be talking about that throughout the year. Connor Lamb, if he wins, could be your opponent in this newly redistricted PA-17 district, right? Well, as far as I know, he hasn't declared a candidacy for I'm, that district yet. He, so. Well, okay, he could be, let's say. So how would you, knowing his pro-life views, run a campaign against him? Well, he doesn't have pro-life views. I mean, if you, if, you come out, if, <laughs> well, you, if you come out and say that you support, that you would have voted against a bill that would have protected children capable of feeling pain, two-thirds of the American people do not think that procedure should be allowed. It, uh, and so certainly, you know, again, looking at the history of Governor Casey in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and, and the position he took, courageous yeah. position he took. And you would use that as a, as a talking point in that campaign? Well, I think it, it points out an extreme position mm -hmm. uh, uh, to defend uh, late-term abortion where, where unborn children are capable of, fe capable of feeling pain when we're supposed to be defending the defenseless. I think it's a very difficult position to defend. Thank you so much for joining us with your insights. Representative Keith Rothfuss of Pennsylvania. Good to be with you.